Hello everyone, you are welcome to K News News for. My name is Tebi Peter and I'm a computer science student of K News and I'm also a blogger and then the founder of K News News for. I would like to use this opportunity to appreciate all those that have been supportive to this channel, K News News for, and to our prospective K News applicants. As you are with your watching results, we hope for the best and also we hope for the best in the admission processes. Most of you are desperate to come to school here, yeah, so <laughs> that's how it's supposed to be, but you have to relax, okay? So we'll be learning a lot of KNUST stuff on this channel. Yeah, you may read the blogs and all that, but probably the voice may add up to support or to make you understand whatever that is being said in the blogs okay so this channel seeks to provide you with better understanding of everything that you need to know this is supposed to be your go-to source for information that you are looking for concerning Kenya I would be going into details about a lot of things especially the fees that have been recently released most of you may find it difficult in understanding the structure and you may not want to waste your money or throw your money away you get it and this 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 is the time that you are supposed to really 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 get things to your head you have to understand them before you make a move okay so i would urge you all to subscribe and then like comment and share i would urge you also to turn on the notification button for this channel so that subsequent videos when posted you'll be updated so that you come to watch and then get insights of whatever that is happening or whatever that is going on so we are going to take a look at the fees, right? The fees. That's what we are going to look at. The authorities have released uh, the provisional fees for the 2023-2024 academic year. Most of the times, or mostly, the fees the for the prospective applicants, your original fees will come with your admission stuff. So let's 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 just dive into it. Let's. <music> Alright, so let's take a look at the fees. KNUSD. Fees for the 2023 academic year. That is provisional, right? So provisional means it's likely to change whether to reduce or increase. Yeah, so that's how it goes. So when you look at the table, we have a bigger table that's made up of the academic and residential fees. That is the summation of all the parts of the fees. And then when you go to the bottom, you see that there are divisions there, right? We have the other, that is B1. And then academic facility user fees, that is FF or A. And then additional charges, that is B2. And then we have the residential, the breakdown of the residential fees. Okay, so we would take the larger table first, right? We take the larger table and then we look at what is there. So with the larger table, if you really want to understand this thing, just follow me okay follow me directly let's let's discuss this if you have another device or something you can open the pdf and then take a look at it or you can divide your screen or something if possible so let's look at this um the um the bigger table so we have the programs so each college has uh, a fees assigned to each program right so the first one is the college of humanities and social sciences right and then when you go move to the right right so the column we have the first column is the a right that is the academic facility user fee afuf right and then we have b1 then we have b2 then we come to the total academic fees then residential fees and then the grand total right so grand total so while well, under the college of humanities and social sciences we have the first program to be business administration or areas of specialization that is included so with them the academic facility user fees is 469 Ghana cities point eight five pesos and then there are others that is you see mostly the others is the larger part of the fees the others is the larger part of the fees we will talk about it separately right the academic and then the b1 the b2 we talk about them separately so that you get to understand what they are so the B1 there is 1316.14 Ghana cities and then the B2 there's a dash right take note of that there's a dash and then when you come to the total you add the 
academic facility user fees to B1. That will give you the total academic fees. Now, the residential fees is not included there because it's an option for you. You have the right to book a hall or not, right? So that's why it's empty for all the columns, right? So then that then jumps to the grand total. That is 1785.99. That is what whoever that is going to study business administration is paying for the academic fees for academic fees that's what they are going to pay and then the second one is hospitality and tourism management right so you see that um with this one they are b2 it's 920 ghana city there's no dash that means they will pay for something right and then as usual the residential fees there's a uh, empty space right all right so let's let's go to college of science you see um the thing is most of the courses or the program sorry most of the programs some of them pay the same amount of fees others pay differently right so when you look at the first one the initial one, the college of humanities and social sciences those in the business administration are paying a different fee from those in the hospitality and tourism management chieftaincy and traditional leadership studies and then the other programs right so they are different when you come to college of science Actual science, mathematics, and statistics, you are all paying the same fees, right? And then when you come to the next one, so apart from actual science, mathematics, and statistics, the other programs under College of Science, you are all paying the same amount of fees. So if you are not paying 1906.74, you are paying 2506.74. That's your fees. So that is computer science, environmental science, food science, and technology, meds, and then climate science um optometry physics biochemistry biological science chemistry right you are all paying 2506.74 now with the engineering students you are all paying the same amount of fees because you are all doing engineering and basically you will need the field work and all that stuff so you see it's only the residential fees that is empty other aspect of it are being filled with figures so you are paying 3535.99 so if you are a student a prospective student and you want to study engineering this is the amount you should be accumulating or something above or something closer to it because this fees right here is provisional it can change but your target is that you should get 3535.99 yes bam put it there so that whether it increases or not you would know what to add up or what to take away from it and then we come to the college of art and built environment it's also the same thing it's just the residential fees that is what that is empty then we come to the college of agriculture right college of agriculture college of agriculture so um we have agriculture by agri biotechnology agri business management agri aquaculture and what 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 it's also the same thing it's just the residential fees that is empty then we come to the college of health sciences so here too you see that there's a separation most of the courses are paying similar fees but others too are paying differently so you see whatever that it entails determines the amount of fees that you pay right so the higher the program the more higher your fees will be you get it so let's look at medicine or oh, medicine human biology that's what it is they are paying 3826.01 right it's a health program and then look at um herbal medicine or nursing or midwifery you are paying 3135.99 right and pharmacy too you are also paying the same amount right so the higher the program the possible higher fees you pay right so that that is the whole structure right that's the whole structure but i'll come back to the structure again but let's look at this let's look at this um i'm going to take the division right that's the structure of it one after the other so you go to the bottom the last table or the the second page of the pdf sorry the second page of the pdf and then we will take a look at what is there all right so let's continue with the academic facility user fees so here we have college of humanities and social science science you would pay 316.87 and then college of science 46 college of science to applied science 
you pay four six nine point eight five. But with the applied science, some of them were taken out. Some of the programs you were singled out. For physician, you pay five nine four point zero nine, and then for human biology, you pay human biology or dental surgery, you pay seven zero nine point eight seven. So that is it for the academic facility user fees. So the user fees, the academic facility user fees, will be the places that you will be using for your what your academic purposes, especially the lecture halls, right? They'll be used to maintain the lecture halls and stuff. Recently, flat screens were brought in to help with students who normally sit at the back. Yes, the back benches. We 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 mostly don't like sitting in front. So since it's a projector that most lecturers will be using, those who sit at the back, those of us who sit at the back, sorry, those of us who sit at the back, we mostly do not see what is being projected. So TVs were provided to help with that. So those at the back, you can be watching the TV and then some of you <laughs> choose to ignore what is happening in the lecture hall. So that is it for the academic facility user fees. Then we take a look at the others. That is B1. Others, B1. You see, that's, that's a long list, very long one. And you realize that that makes up almost 50, 56% of your fees, right? Or let me say 80% or so. That makes up 80% of your fees. So that one is made up of mostly deals and then levies. Deals and levies. So we have something like physical development levy. That is for the street lights and then stuff around campus for the environment. You realize that when you, when you get to campus, you realize that um, the street lights are being changed from the old, old ones to the new ones with solar panels. So that in case of a lights out, we still have lights available for students' safety. You get it? So the physical development levy, that is 48.30. It's used for those purposes. And then we have the examination fee. That is 288.65. Anything concerning your exams, being it mid-semester, final sem, uh, sorry, end of semester exams. This is the fee that you pay for it, right? Okay, so we have the library fee. That is for all purposes concerning libraries in the school. So you realize that the school has a big library. Oh, indeed, it's it's very very big, very nice, and all that's very conducive. Yeah, you can look at look at look at the environment. Just look at the pictures. This is the inside of the library, the outside the front view. Very nice. Everything about the library is interesting. So you just go there and then you steady, steady, steady. When it's time they suck you or you leave, you get it. So. <laughs> It's it's always open from morning, 8 a.m. to 10:30 p.m. But during exam time, they extend the periods right for 24 hours. Exams exams soon here pass. So let's let's take it serious. So remember the second library, yeah, that the school's main library's name. And then you go there, you go and have fun, Wi-Fi, everything. You enjoy the school study. All right. So here we go. We have the students guide student guide well for this one it's it's a guide that has a lot of pages so it contains the do's and don'ts of the school's rules and regulations and everything you pay for that yeah it's a book 26 cities 57 pesos and then we have the student id card very important student id card it has all your your details right and it's also a multi-purpose card right you can use it as uh how should I call it? An ATM card. Yeah. CBG is in partnership with the school, so they provided that chip on it, so that you can use create an account and then be used using it for your transactions. So the card is a Mastercard. It's a multi-purpose card. It's not just containing your name and your pictures or your index numbers and all that. It has a lot more than that. And then we have the campus bus. That's the shuttle. Yes, shuttle. This is very interesting. When when students when you talk about shuttle boarding, they say yes, you pay it eighty to fifty percent for the whole year, right? You pay eighty to fifty percent for the whole year, and then you go and board the shuttle. Yeah, you you've been seeing people struggling to board the shuttle, and <laughs> you wonder why. Yes, people pay for it, so you've paid for it, so you don't let the money go waste. Oh, if you, fine, if you don't want to, it's okay, but. It's, it's nice. Look at the green one like this. It has air conditioning and everything. Just enter and then 
the clothes you and they are going you enjoy the air then we have the tata bars that's the old version the old bars they are all good it's just for strength transportation so let's look at this thing paperless communication yeah the airtime and stuff the school gives you a vodafone sim card and then you use it for your purposes your calls it gives you three hours and then 10 minutes to other networks and it gives you five gig and i am there as a president yeah Yvonne Osea Dupia, the first ever female SRC president of KNUST. Yes, she has sent uh, a bill to parliament to increase the bundle to 10 gig. Woo! That would be awesome, but hmm, we still have a lot of flights, right? So, look at the paperless communication for um, 2022. It was 109 cities, 25 persons. But recently it shot up to 122.64 Ghana cities. So there has been an increment in it and then you would have to deal with that. So the sub total for 2022 was 1302.75. But for 2023 it went up to 131614. Right. So that's it. And then when you are done with school, eh, for the first year, yeah. <laughs> Pardon me. So when you're done with school for the first year, you wouldn't pay for matriculation. Matriculation is the school has officially accepting you into the school, so you would do that. It would be a like um because of COVID and stuff, and then because of the number of students, it has been always online. Yeah, on the school's YouTube channels, Facebook, so you can be watching it live everywhere. You won't pay for students' guide. You won't pay for the student ID. Right, but you pay for the student ID when you misplace it and you want to re replace it again. You pay some amount to get it re renewed or get you a new one. And then medical examination and then the communication skills. Yes, com skills. You wouldn't pay for that as well. So that's it for the um, others, right? All right, so we take a look at B2. B2 is basically for practical and field trip purposes, right? So take a look at these students. These are construction and technology management students. They are having a survey or something on the streets somewhere in Ghana. And then look at these ones too. I think I don't, I've never even asked of what they, what they do with this machine. So this is what they are doing. These are things. This is a field trip or field work. And then look at the engineering students. They are also in their working year. All right, so we come to the residential fees, right? This concerns everything related to um, the halls, right? Africa Hall, Republic Hall, Queen's Hall, Independence Hall, Unity Hall, University Hall, right? These six halls, if you want to be in any of them for the 2023-2024 academic year, as a first year student, this is the amount you have to pay. That is what we refer to as the residential fee or accommodation fee. So it's 2167.80. Now, the breakdown of the fees we have the residential facility user fees, the things you'll be using in the halls, right? You, you'll be using the, um, the, the balcony, uh, sorry, the chairs outside, the environment for your purposes and all that, water, um, dry lines, washrooms, all that. The facility that you'll be using, these are the amount. This is the amount you are supposed to pay. So thousand eight hundred and forty-four point four one. Then the whole juice, then the whole development fund, and then four for generators. Yes, you have to for your generators. It's very important because in um my first year, when I was in first year, oh, I I, I did not even believe that probably this you could turn out light and then it will reach KNUST because oh, university here. Why would you? put out their lights but no ECG disappoints at any time so you probably be cooking your food and then all of a sudden shim ECG takes out the lights then you'll be worried you'll be wondering when it will come back but all of a sudden you see the light is back but not actually from ECG then you hear the sound of generators yes that is the purpose it's to keep you because the school does not accept gas in the hall so you cannot use a cylinder there so it has to put in measures to make sure that whenever there's light out there's light available for you right so the generators are there to what serve that function you can't pay for your utilities so there's nothing there for utilities and then the whole ict fees so 
that is it so that sums up to 2167.80 but i'll take you back to three years ago that was when i was in first year it was very 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 interesting because the fees everything there wasn't really much because it wasn't up to this amount we woke up for when we were about entering second year there was a 15 percent increment in the fees and we we're all wondering why why that is happening but hmm what can we see so this is it we were paying 756 for academic facility uh, sorry residential facility user fees 68.25 for hold use 52.50 for hall development fund 52.504 for, for generators then the whole ict fees 73.50 and the total is thousand and two point seven five. That's what we paid for accommodation three years ago. But today, it's two thousand one hundred sixty-seven point eight zero. Wow, that's a huge increment. So that is it. So that's all for the accommodation fees. So, since the economy is really, really at a bad state, so things have been increased anyhow can't say anything about it because you don't have an option so this is it this is the end of it so now we will take a look at how to pay our fees right so i'll keep on reminding don't forget to like subscribe and comment you can put in your suggestion all right so as i said we will revisit the larger table after we are done with this so let's go back to the larger table to understand what it is up there what the grand total is all about so we will look at this um let's take those in actuarial science mathematics and statistics that's college of science so the academic facility user fee they are paying four six nine eight four so when you come to the smaller table you realize that it's also the college uh, academic facility user fees four six nine point eight five right so that is up there that is in the first column right four six nine point eight five then we come to B1. B1 316.14. Every 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 college is paying the same amount for B1. Every college is paying the same amount for B1. So now we come to B2. They are paying College of Science, they are paying 120.75. So you add the two, uh, the three, right? The A, B1, B2. Right? So that will make up the ground total or your academic fees right so that is it that's about all about the bigger table the larger table comprises of the smaller tables the parts of the smaller tables and then it makes up the grand total so you realize that the figures you see in the bigger table you see those same figures in the smaller tables right so the school separated the the parts of the bigger table to give you an overview of why your fees is like this why your b1 is like this why your b2 is like this right that's how it is so the smaller tables are basically the parts of the bigger table that opens up why a particular part or a particular section of your fee is what it is right so if the school had written b1 and written 1316.14 Without indicating anything about examination, matriculation, health care, you'll, be one, you'll probably be wondering. So if I go and then we are about writing exam, will we pay, uh, sorry to say, printing fees? Will we pay um, um, what what fees? You see, that's the thing. So the school has <laughs> what separated those things and then explained them in table form so that you get to know what each table is made up of. You get it sorry what each column is made up of so when you look at it you can basically actually calculate your fees from the bottom here without looking at the bigger table right so all the school all the colleges all programs are paying the same amount for b1 right then you come to academic facility user fee which college are you college of science then you look at the amount then you come to additional charges right aside from hospitality and tourism management the rest you look at your your college or your program and then you what you just pick the figure there then you add it to the b1 and then the academy facilitator user fees 
then you are down calculating your fees but to make things simple the school rather put in place the bigger table so that you just look at it on the various rules and then you do what you just calculate your total and that's it for your fees okay so that is it for your fees for 2023 2024 academic year and that is what you are paying All right so for if you want to pay your fees you would have to what pay the academic fees first that is what is taking note do not pay fees via mobile money or any platform aside going straight to the bank right first yes you are not eligible on the aim app so you cannot make payments there so you go to the bank you make payment for your academic fees mostly they require your students number that number you had when you bought your voucher the serial number right that one you use it throughout KNUST right so the serial number and then they'll give you a number for the school then you write them down the only thing is to be on the safer side when you go to the bank make mention of paying KNUST fees they have a copy for you they have a copy for the school especially when it comes to the residential one because when you come to school the school will take the school's copy right and give you the student's copy so whenever you make payment for any fee make sure you take a receipt for it else you'll be found wanting someday so that is it that is all for today thank you very much for joining me and thank you for watching my first video and i would urge you to subscribe to this channel and then share the video with your friends to also educate them about kenny